What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Academia. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. Every time I say Academia I get hungry because it reminds me of Macadamia. Dude, these kids have some dirty ass feet. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. We're, we need to stop hiring janitors. We need to get like some, I don't know, some welcome mats or something up in the front. And there is pee like everywhere. I think we're gonna have some troubles in today's episode. I think we are, but then again, I don't know if the game is like implemented to the point yet where there's gonna be a lot of like... I don't know if the game has been developed to the point where there's gonna be a whole lot of repercussions for the things that we're doing improperly. So what I'm thinking about doing right now is we're actually gonna start expanding the school out in separate directions. We're gonna start heading to the left. We do have a little bit of money coming in and actually it looks like we're making a tiny bit of money. We're making about 400 bucks a day. I don't know exactly how I want to let that all flow. Does everybody go home at 5 o'clock? Why are the kids at school until 5 o'clock? That seems like kind of a late day to me. They've been here like all day, man. They've been here nonstop. Maybe the janitors can catch up once. So where are they taking all this stuff? All the way down to the garbage? Okay, so they need like garbage cans. That's going to be the second part. So let me see if I can find some objects here that will emulate a garbage can. Uh, if we're in, ooh, dismantle, bookshelf, canteen, there's got to be garbage cans around here somewhere. It's just coming down and finding it, unfortunately. So faculty stuff, no, it's not inside of there. We've got computers, there's clubs. Ah, a trash can. So I'm thinking we put a trash can right there. Let me start sprinkling trash cans around and seeing if that helps with any of the mess. Because I think what you find in life is that if people put trash cans around, there tends to be a lot less trash. And so there we go. We'll put trash cans all over the place and hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Put some trash cans over here on the side too before we get any further building done. Now I can't really afford to expand out too much. We've got the new trash cans. That's good. The garbage place is way the hell off on that side though. And these dudes are going home for the day. Okay. That's a little troublesome because there's a lot of foot scuffs and things on the floors that I think we could do better with. But we've basically, like, I don't know how many more janitors I can actually hire. Like, I have a lot of janitors. There's a lot of janitors around. Construction guys are coming back in. They should get started with all the trash cans. So there it is. They built it from scratch out of only the finest plastics that they've whittled. Only the finest plast- Where did they get- They just wave a hammer around, dude. It's magical, I told you. This is Snifflebum School of Remedial Wizardry. We don't have to, like, build a trash can. We just wave our magic wand around, and it- comes to be. It comes to be. It doesn't matter that our magic wand looks like a hammer. That's just symbolism and metaphor. Don't worry about it. Symbolism and metaphor. So yeah, it looks like there is definitely less trash now that we have trash cans. And I just saw him take out the garbage. So I think that's exactly what we're going for right there. We do need to make a little bit more money though. Like our cash flow is actually a little bit poor. Like I'd like to have better cash flow. And so what I'm thinking is we make another wing. I was going to make this the gym over here, though. The gym is always at the end of the hallway, so maybe we'll expand it out this way. And we'll have, like, a hallway right here. This will have, like, two more classrooms inside of it. Maybe increase our profit margins ever so slightly. And then if we get that done, so how does this go right here? Our utilities, janitors, cooks. That actually seems to be fairly static. Like, I don't think it's actually that big of a deal. I was, I was looking to see if there were any variables inside of here that change based on, like, the cleanliness or whatnot of our school, but I don't think it actively matters. Do I need, like, mops or anything to clean up these floors? Because these floors are brutal right here. Is there anything else I can do with... Let me see here. Objects. And then if we go to the janitor's room, is there, like, a mop and bucket around here anywhere? Or is that, like, not a thing that we have access to? Because they're not cleaning up the stains on the floor. It's possible that there just aren't enough janitors. But, at least we got the trash situation slightly under control. Yeah, it looks like the janitors will pick up trash from the floors and put it inside the cans. And then once the can fills up, they'll go through and they'll actually, like, empty the whole thing. So that's good. That's at least one solution taken care of. However, we are developing... I like what the foot traffic, though, you can actually see. It's kind of like ant trails. You can see where they go the most. Like, you can tell where most of the paths are taken. Also, we aren't having, like, a urination problem anymore, which is good. So let's consider building ourselves a little bit more stuff. So what we need for right now is we are going to need to build. We're going to go with brick walls here. I'm going to drag this out to like right here. Let's make the halls. How wide are these halls right here? Those are eight by ones, including the walls. So we put seven in the middle. Six in the middle. Okay, there we go. So there is our next hallway. 
And then I'm going to take a door. No, I'm not going to put a door right there, actually. We'll just go with the... Let's get some floors in here. So we got concrete tiles. It's going to cost us another G. Good lord. Spending all kinds of money right now. Oh, well. That's the way she goes sometimes, Rick. That's the way she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. It's just the way she goes. That's, like, one of my favorite quotes from Trailer Park Boys. It's, like, one of the best, like, dad quotes ever. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't go, Rick. That's just the way she goes. <laughs> Yeah, it's such a good phrase. I'm gonna put a classroom at the end of the hall too, I think. Oh, will that hold my drag right there? It will not. So let me see what I can do right here. I don't know if we'll have the money to complete this entirely, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. We definitely need to expand the school out and make a little bit more money. We've got a lot of wasted hall space right here, but I'll probably put in a double door right here that goes to the gym, because I think the gym is gonna be pretty rad too. Basically, I just need to ratchet up on the amount of students that I have. I don't know, so it was, these guys get paid monthly, and it's like 4800 a month, and so, or is it by the quarter? I don't know exactly how that goes, but we've got freshman classrooms right now. I wonder if we get paid more for higher levels of education, like sophomores and juniors and seniors and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe not? Have no idea how that's going to work. I will put in a classroom right here, and that is... One by eight, including the walls. So we got seven, I'm sorry, six in between these, and then one. So we'll go in right there. Can I just place a door over here? Oh, goody, the door didn't rotate right. Sigh. At least it's not like Prison Architect, where you've constantly got to worry that they're going to break out every time you build something. Building in Prison Architect was a legitimate pain in the ass, because, like, whenever you had to build or renovate... I know you guys have probably played this game more than I did, but anytime you started to build or renovate, you basically needed to segregate that entire area away from the rest of the prison by, like, fences and everything else until it was done being built. Otherwise, they would pull a runner every single time. At least in this one, they don't pull runners. That's, that's the good part. Can workers get trapped inside these areas? God, I hope not. I hope the priority is set to do floors first. I really, really hope that's the case. Either way, we're just generating money right now by letting the game run, so it's not really that big of a deal. They're going to do what they do. Everything seems to have reached some kind of equilibrium. We need another concrete tile over here. Why are the concrete tiles not working? Hold on, let me re- let me- let me re-instigate here and see what's going on. Do they need to be inside of walls? How come the tiles aren't working? That's weird. Never mind. Your school is dirty. 24 students are absent due to sickness. Well, it looks like some of the cleaning got done. I see mopping happening. I think I just took them a little while to get on top of it. Like, it just took them a little while to fix the problem. Oh, that's a concrete. Let's see here. So, for this door right here. Oh, I think my game bugged out, actually. Okay, let me restart the game real fast. I will restart the game. It's not letting me place any objects. There we go. All fixed up. Sorry. I had to restart the game. So if you run into that particular bug where you're clicking on stuff and then it won't let you place tiles and things of that nature, uh, just restart your game real fast, apparently. I was not aware that that was going to be an issue. But it was. And we fixed it now. So that's good. I've got that right there. Let me put in a couple more concrete tiles right here. There we go. Doors can go inside of here. We'll keep those all on the inside. Maybe we'll have like a big class right here. Like a really, really big class. We'll like overstress this teacher to his limits because why not? Why not? I wonder if it'll actually put the door right there and demolish the wall or not. I'm a little interested in seeing if that happens. Oh, cool. It could use some kind of little ghost though right there. Something that tells you that it's actually going to be constructed. So we had students go home because they were sick. Uh, the janitorial staff, I think they were just so far behind that they couldn't catch up, and now, like, a day without students being around has allowed them to catch up. I would think with four janitors, this is a pretty small school, with four janitors, they should be able to stay on top of it, but everything I've seen so far has been contrary to that thought. It's been the opposite of that thought. I thought that maybe our janitors with their magic wands would be able to take care of business, but no! Apparently we need more of them. I think actually having them stay a couple hours after work every day would actually... Increasing their... Can I change their work hours? Is that a possibility? Can I do that? So let's see here. Student info. Motivation is low, but on the rise. Health is low, but on the rise. Food is... Eh, but on the rise. Fun is very, very little. So we should probably work on that, too. Uh, what kind of zones do we have here? So we have clubs. It might be worth doing... To do like a computer lab or something like that. I don't know if we... We could put the library right here connected to the gym. Just trying to keep everything organized for right now. Try to keep it where it needs to be. 
I do think we're gonna need more janitorial staff, strangely enough. Like, janitors... Weirdly, cost a lot of money, and they seem to be strangely vital. And so anyways, I'll hire two more. If it ends up being too much for us, we'll go ahead and fire them, but... I'm gonna go with a few more classrooms to get people enrolled. Uh, do I need clocks? Do clocks help out at all? Do they do anything? You gotta put the clock at the back of the room so the kids gotta turn around to look at it so you can be like, STOP LOOKING AT THE CLOCK! That's what teachers used to do at my school. Teachers in my school, they always put the clock behind you so that it wasn't behind the teacher, so that you couldn't see what time it was, so you had to like turn around and look at the clock, and then the teacher would kids would be like, you got somewhere to be? Anyways, the joys of school. The joys of school. Let's lay out some zones here. So we actually have a clinic, too, that we can have. I think what I'd like to do is let's make a class right here. There we go. Make sure these are of suitable size. Six by six is good enough. Okay, and then we can edit the zone. Let's go ahead and edit it. Unless I can't edit it right now until it's finalized. Yep, can't edit it until it's finalized. Okay. Well, let's grab some objects then, and where's my classrooms at? Classrooms, classrooms, where are you hiding at them classrooms? This one, the teacher will be on the opposite side. Trying to get some more students in here so I can earn some more money. There we go. Just really smash those things in right there. Just as many as you can fit. As many as you can fit. And then we'll put a desk right there. We need a chair. And then we need a chalkboard. Dude, I hate the sound of chalk on chalkboards. It's the worst sound ever. Have you ever heard that sound? That's an awful sound. That is a god-awful sound. It's just, I hated when my classes, I liked it when they had whiteboards. I hated it when they had chalkboards because it was like just nails on a chalkboard to me. I know that seems a little close as far as a simile goes, but there we go. Just treat these little guys like the money farms that they are. Perfect. And then I actually, you know, that chair can be in front of the door. I don't even care about it. I don't even care about it. It'll be fine. And then over here, another zone that we'll set up is we'll call this maybe like a, a bathroom, actually, would probably be the smartest over here. Put a bathroom in each wing so that they can stay on top of it. With six janitors, it looks like they can actually get things done. I might try to reduce that number down to five for cost-cutting measures. Yay, the joys of running a school. Um, we could also call it a library. That's an option. Yeah, let's call it a library. And then maybe right here, what I'll do is I'll round that out ever so slightly. And this will become the new bathroom area. So that they can get that done. Uh, so inside the library, what do we need for a library area? For a libraria, I suppose is what we could call it. Inside of a libraria, I think... What does it need? It needs tables, chairs, and bookshelves. Well, there's bookshelves right there. It's a hundred bucks for a bookshelf? Man, things are expensive. These kids ain't playing. These kids ain't joking, though. There we go. So we got the library set up. Now I just need tables and chairs. Okay. Let's go for some tables. Put a little tablas in right there. Yep, get a little tabla action. Perfect. Got some tables. I mean, that'll have to be good enough. I don't really, I kind of overstocked myself here as far as this goes. I suppose I could say to dismantle that right there. There we go. That'll give us a little bit more room so we can play around with tables a little bit better. Perfect. Tables and chairs and they got their airs and they got their airs. There we go. So tables and chairs everywhere. Little kids like reading, right? I didn't particularly like reading, but I don't guess little kids like reading. Sure, why not? They like to be edumacated. They like to learn things and stuff. There we go. So now the cleanliness looks like it's doing a little bit better. So as far as all this is going right now, it actually looks like things are on the increase, although public health is down. That probably means we need a clinic. 37 students are absent due to sickness. That's weird because the school is clean, like everything looks okay to me. I'm not sure where the cleanliness issues are coming up, but they seem alright to me. I also think we might be able to get rid of a cook lady. Like we might be able to fire a lunch lady, I think. Where's my, where's my staffing menu here? How do I get, how do I fire some people? So cooks, there we go. We'll get rid of Waldo German to get some money back. And I'm gonna try it just with five janitors for right now. We'll get rid of poor old Luther right there. Luther's out. So 37 students are gone due to sickness. I'm assuming that's due to the fact that we don't have a clinic because everything looks pretty clean to me. 
Like, there's no dirt around, there's no problems up inside of here, so... I'm a little bit interested in seeing how that's gonna change, but either way, we gotta hire a few more teachers. Let's go ahead and we'll get some, like, uh... What kind of teachers do I have right now? Like, what teachers do I have available? Let me see in my staffing, we got four teachers, so... Paolo, Catherine, it doesn't show their stats when you click on these, it really should. It should. Um, is there any way for me to see... Interesting. Public health goes up, though. Maybe it's the overcrowdedness that's causing the problem. I mean, when I went to college, dude, no lie, there was, like, waves of sickness that would just go through the college, and you just had to learn to live with that. Like, you didn't have a choice, you know what I mean? Like, it, w it was ugly. It was ugly. 400 a day. That's gonna drop our income pretty considerably. I don't think we can afford that. However, we can't afford a bachelor's degree over here. So she's good with math, and she's good with PE. Okay. Turtle bite. Carol Marchese. Yeah, we'll hire Carol over here. Good old Carol. Wait, my school ran out of money and had to be closed down? No, it didn't. Oh, it did. I overcharged it. I overcharged it, Jesus. So apparently if you run out of money, you're done for, which means I'm probably... That probably necessitates me having to sit and let the game run for long periods of time to make money. Not really much I can do about that. Um, so this time around, I think we're going to try and do something different. I was thinking about turning all these into classrooms over here. But actually, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is make a nurse's office. It looks like a lot of people are getting sick, and public health appears to be kind of bad right now. We also need more fun, so maybe like a computer lab or something like that? I don't really know what constitutes fun. I know what we used to do for fun in school, and that was ditch school. So, I don't know. We'll call this a clinic over here. It's a 4x4, it needs a medicine cabinet, a clinic bed, a chair, and it needs to be indoors. It appears to be indoors to me. How is it not indoors? Oh, they haven't finished that little wall panel right there yet. So I fired about half of our workers, because I don't really care if the work gets done quickly. It doesn't really matter entirely that much if the work gets done with, like, a real sense of urgency, because we don't have the money to keep expanding anyways. Like, we're just waiting for cash to trickle on up. Luckily, I've got that to an amount where it should be manageable. Uh, hopefully the janitors will get to some of this dirtiness over here, too, although I think they spend a lot of their time just chasing down random stuff at the moment. So I took two janitors, I got rid of one kitchen lady, and I got rid of two workers. And that's brought us up to about 500 bucks a day that we're earning. There's only a little bit of dirt left over, so maybe it'll be okay. It looks like public health is falling off right now. But I'm not really sure how to get that under control. It doesn't seem like it's that dirty, all things considered. Like, there's little bits and bobs of dirtiness, but it's not that bad. We'll find out how many people had to stay home in just a minute. As far as objects for our clinic goes, we've got clinic beds. Those cost 200 bucks. We'll throw in like two of those. We've got a medicine cabinet over here. There we go. And then we need a chair. Is that what we need? We need chairs. Okay, well let's keep that to a minimum for right now. We don't need to like overdo it on the spending inside of our clinic because frankly if the kids are sick they should probably go to a real doctor so it needs to be indoors are you guys gonna finish that brick wall right there do i need to retell you to do it maybe i gotta retell them to do it can somebody build that brick wall for me please yay you built the brick wall for me what a champion what a champion he is the champion of the episode do -do 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 -do. There we go. And so now we've got a nurse. So if the kids aren't feeling good, which seems to be the case as of right now, hopefully that'll help out. And it does look like health is on the rise. So if the kids aren't feeling good, they can go to the clinic. Uh, my suggestion would also be that we get like another bathroom up inside of here. Bladder levels look like they're okay. I'm not sure if like the meters, since this is early access, you can never tell with early access if everything's working as intended. Like if your uh, food needs and everything else are actually tabulating properly. Uh, food quality, I don't know how we increase that. We basically got the items that we need in order to have the food that we have. Um, hopefully it works out. Cleanliness appears to be okay right now. Wish there was like doormats or something we could put in front of the classrooms or whatever so kids could wipe their feet and make it a little bit easier. But then again, what do I know about anything? What do I know about anything? We got about 3,700 left for right now. I'm gonna let it run for a minute and just kind of see what happens with all this stuff. So there's kids coming over here to the nurse's office. It looks like one of them's lined up in bed. Maybe he's feeling a little bit better. Uh, maybe he's feeling a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like health is kind of evened out on one side. And I don't really know how to make that any better. 
Don't know how to make that any better, unfortunately. As far as subjects goes, I don't know what that's doing either. Maybe we have to, like, set these up. And so if I go into a class and I edit the classroom, this class here is freshman. I've assigned a teacher here. Huh. Okay. I was thinking maybe we could assign the subject right here or something like that, but I'm not really sure where that's at. So, we've got a bunch of grants over here that I think we should take, just like in Prison Architect. I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, we've got $5,000 advance, $5,000, build a library and build a computer lab. We can build a club. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I would actually take that one right there, because we can instantly complete that one. And that'll give us a nice little cash loan. Uh, cleanliness being next to godliness. Oh, we are. It auto-completes. Good. And so anything that we've actively done, we need two nurses in order to get this done? Well, we've got the money now, so we might as well. If it gives us an extra little grip of cash, we might as well do the grants. I would suggest they add another tab right here. It does look like they have some real estate in the UI. Um, what I would do is instead of putting the grants inside the to-do list, I would put grants next to it so that, like, the player is actively aware that there are grants. I'm sure that's been on the screen a number of times during this playthrough, but I didn't notice it until just now. Uh, we'll complete that off right there and make some money. We've got No Man is an Island, and it wants us to build a club. We've got toilet training, a male toilet, and a female toilet. Can I, as far as zones go, if I edit these zones, let's edit this toilet right here. I'm going to close that off. Uh, we'll call that the female toilet, and then this one right here, we will call this the men's room. So there it is. So we've got a female toilet and a men's toilet. Although, I've got them backwards. This one should be the men's toilet because it's got urinals inside of it. I just realized that there's like, there's a lot of real estate dedicated to urinals right there. And there we go. All better. So school health is done. That should put our to-do list for toilet training all nice and done. So there's another five grand. That'll give us pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Reach 50 students. Expand horizons. How many people are sick? Nobody's sick for right now, but we got the two nurses inside of here. That gives us the money because money is what I was worried about right there. Money is pretty much the main problem. Ain't that the truth in life? Ain't that the truth? Uh, give me another medicine cabinet and give me another chair so both nurses can work simultaneously. And from there, maybe I'll make a club down and inside of here, or maybe I'll make a computer lab. I don't know. Let's make a zone, and we're going to call this... Actually, I need to finish building first, so we'll go like so. And we'll put that all in right there because we have the money to do it right now. As far as that's concerned, let's take a look at the way things are flowing right now. Looks like we're doing better. Now that we've assigned toilets to specific genders, it appears to give a bladder bonus of some kind, or at least our bladder bonus seems to be getting better. We need to get these kids healthier, though, I think is the big part. That health meter is the most important thing to me, and then we'll worry about the scholastic stuff later on. You gotta make sure the kids are taken care of. Uh, they're spending a little bit of time sweeping up floors right now, which is great. That's gonna keep cleanliness on the rise. And then I think at 5 o'clock, they're gonna head on home. Well, damn! Trying to get some stuff done. So we got the clinic right here. As soon as these are done, I'm gonna call these like some kind of, I don't know. We'll probably make like a club right here. Probably make like a little library or something like that. You gotta make the kids more productive. Gotta make the kids more productive. Cat flow is a little bit light right now. I prefer for it to be better, but we'll worry about that later. Health is continuing to be on the rise, which I think is good because we can't have kids out of school right now. That'd be all kinds of bad. It seems like cleanliness is an issue. I've been looking around on forums and stuff like that to like figure out how to get cleanliness under control. And it seems like it's just, it's just there. Like you do what you can with it. But as long as kids are at school, it seems like they're going to cause messes and whatnot. Everything looks fairly clean to me. In fact, I'm not sure why we're taking such a steep penalty for like two spots on the floor. Like, look, our cleanliness is super low at the moment. We've got a B in cleanliness and yet everybody's sick from dirt. And so I, I think we can just chalk it up to like, I, I think we could probably chalk it on up to, to early access woes or something like that. Let's continue developing zones. So we've got a computer lab over here. I'm gonna get the computer lab done. Uh, let's find some objects here for a computer lab. What does a computer lab need? Five chairs, five computers. It needs to be a seven by five. So that is not large enough. Let me go ahead and get rid of that zone then. So we'll take this zone and we will remove it. This is a seven by, that'll work for computer lab. That'll work right there. So we'll call this a computer lab for right now. No, that's a six by six. Damn. Suppose I can knock that wall out, but I guess a computer lab just isn't really in the isn't in the cards right now. The faculty room is fine. 
Now we need office tables, office chairs, okay. Let's call this a faculty room. So we've got file cabinets. We'll put in like two of those. We've got office tables and we needed like how many of these? A couple. Yeah, it works for me. And then we'll throw in a chair right there. Just a place they can go to grade work and hang out and eat snackies. I don't know. Whatever it is faculty do inside that room. That was always like the mystical land of Narnia to students because they never were able to see what was inside of it. I think that's the point. I think that's the point. 36 students sick due to illness, man. I don't know. I just don't know. Hygiene, I don't know how to make that better. Maybe it's we don't have enough faucets inside the bathrooms, although we do have a lot of faucets. So we've got cleanup tables over here. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly how we make that better because we have all the requisite things that you would assume you would need in order for that to work. Apparently, I can't put that in right there because it's got a runway from the wall. Yeah, I'll put another one in right there. Just like extra faucets never hurt anybody, I guess. But yeah, our cleanliness is dirt nasty low, and I'm not really sure how to fix that. Like, we've got clinics, we've got faculty rooms, we've got stuff like that. That should bring the energy levels up. But I don't feel like our school is that dirty, and yet it says that it's super dirty. Like, I, I'm not really positive. I'm not really positive how we fix that. I'm gonna allow transferees to come in to replace some of the sick kids. Although, I don't know if this is daily or how this works. Uh, we do have transferees, so they arrive in two days. I think that's kind of like setting up how frequently you get new students so that you can build classes. It's kind of like when you're playing a prison architect. You can get different prisoners at different rates and you get different amounts of money depending on how you want to do it, maybe. Uh, what other zones do we have? Do we have like a gym? Because we have the money for a gym, so if we wanted to do a gym class, we could do that. It's entirely possible. However, as far as the zoning goes, it looks like we may not have that much access. I'm gonna hire... well, I can't hire a few more janitors. I need to get... I need to get some more money put together. Let's put in a library over here. That'll be fine. We've got a library. Basically, I'm just trying to fix stuff up right now and make people happier, so I need bookshelves. We'll go with like three bookshelves right there in the library. We'll go with like a set of tables. Something like that right there. And we're losing half of our chair equity right there, but I don't really care. The equity on chair is really not that good anyways. You probably don't want to invest heavily in chairs. I feel like it's a technology that's not really in decline, but it's not really like going anywhere either. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of innovation in that industry. And so we'll keep chairs to a minimum for right now. But things are growing. Things are growing and things are getting a little bit bigger. It looks like the kids do indeed like the library. Oh my good sweet lord. All of our meters are fixed. How did all of our meters get fixed? What? From a library? Uh... One faucet? I'm not sure how all of our stuff got fixed, but all of our stuff got fixed, I guess. I've <laughs> no idea. I'm so confused right now. I know how to play the game and... Our meters are- Oh, they're dead again. They're dead again. I feel like every time I click this thing, something else crazy happens, and I don't really know what to do with it. Uh, it's probably due to the fact I'll just hire a few more janitors. We don't have a choice. Just give me some more janitors. The more janitors, the better. We'll earn money through subsidies and whatnot. I gotta keep this place clean, because if we end up in another spiral with kids getting sick and not showing up to school, it's gonna get us into trouble. And so there we go. Our next little wing of the school is done. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Academia. Obviously some rough edges on this one. But at the same time, I've heard people saying that like they have 240 students and they have 90 janitors and stuff like that where like they that's the only way they can keep their school clean. So I guess we'll just go way over the top on janitors. I don't know. We'll just we'll go heavy. We'll go heavy in this piece on janitors and see how it works out. Hopefully it'll be good enough, but the health levels are looking pretty bad right now. Pretty ridiculously bad. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Kids going to the clinic, getting stuff done. If you want to get the game for yourself and jump in on the early access, you can do that down below in the description. Aside from that, I'm Splattercat. Show off indie games every single day, and I stream every single day at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. I will see you all later. Hi-do, everybody.